It was a day of mixed emotions, excitement, anticipation and tension as the subs and schools teams began sea trials and the F1 in schools students built their trade displays. Down at the pool, last minute adjustments of electronics and controls are the final opportunity to run through team strategies. These amazing ROVs and submarines are a result of these students' complex skill development. The students have had to learn maritime engineering principles, hydrodynamics, computer-aided design, coding, electronics and manufacturing, along with soft skills such as teamwork, problem solving, time management, collaboration and communication. Similarly to our fascination with space travel, the undersea world is exciting and mysterious and it is not surprising to see the huge amount of interest in applied learning that builds on this interest. The rigorous sea trials require expert guidance and calm nerves to navigate their submersibles through tight, twisting courses and carry out various underwater tasks. At least half of the competitors in these programs are girls. And there have been several all-girl national champions, demonstrating that boys and girls have similar interests and capabilities in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Back at the main hall, construction of the trade displays for the F1 in school students was in full swing as they prepared for the next two days of competition. Tomorrow, we move from the high seas to dry land as the F1 racing begins and the students begin discussing their projects with industry judges. These national finals are a place where innovation, inspiration and excitement come together to motivate the next generation of leaders. Thank you.